so it's Saturday, bank holiday weekend. All my friends are having a nice glass of vino. And where am I? Just got to the gym. This is the reality of being a hairdresser, by the way. Look at this, the state of me. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get ready and film a juicy little workout. First of all, first thing I do um, lately is I train core first. The reason why I train core first is I was noticing that after a workout, I wasn't always training core because I was either too tired or just finding excuses. I was like, I'll just do it when I get home. It doesn't happen. I don't train core when I get home. Your girl eats and goes to sleep. So yeah, um, I have literally, for the last couple of weeks, I've just been training core first and I'm really finding it beneficial. So I highly recommend that if you struggle training core or struggling to put it in, just do it first. Do it first and then go on to like your upper body day, leg day or whatever, however you train and whatever split you train in. So yeah, what I personally do is, I do four exercises, um, four times. So I do like a mini circuit and I repeat that circuit four times. Um, everything I do is for 20 reps and yeah. Let's go. I'm going to start off with Russian twists. So, let's go. So I'm using a 10 kg medicine ball. Um, some people prefer to use a plate. Some people prefer to do it with no weights at all. I personally like to use the ball. So yeah, let's go. to your lower abdominals and off you feel the burn. But if not, use without the medicine ball and just lift up like so. Just make sure your back is flat. Don't be lifting up and then, and then arching your back. So, yeah, I like to hold the medicine ball above my head like so and lift up my torso. Doing the 
V crunches. V crunches. See what I mean? Didn't even mean to do it, just done it. Right, let's go. after I work out and then I go outside where the pool is and I do grounding and basically I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit spiritual spiritual I'm a little bit spiritual because the weirdest things have been happening to me lately and I've always been a little bit spiritual like I get really like strong gut feelings and intuition and some people call me a white witch some people think I'm a weirdo I don't really care um, but yeah, I've been putting my feet on like the earth, like my bare feet on the grass, and just doing like a little bit of, yeah, grounding. And I was sitting outside, and I got eaten alive, because I was in my swimsuit, just had my towel wrapped right around me, whilst I was grounding, and yeah, you're eaten alive. I mean, literally, I was out there for like, what, 10 minutes? And I got two humongous nap bites. Like, they're literally like tennis balls, and they're so itchy. So yeah. Your girl must have good blood or something, but I'm not here for it because I look like I'm itching my ass all the time. And I'm not itching my ass, but I am itching my ass. Because <laughs> I got mosquito bites. So anyway, um, that's the core workout done did. Don't forget, four rounds. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get that core together. Let's get that core strong. Strong core and everything else falls together. I'm not quite sure if it's the routine I've been doing and the way I've been training lately or the fact I'm doing yoga weekly but my core has never been this strong like not for a long time so hopefully get a little bit more definition and yeah let's get that core together <sighs> cool, look at them guns I mean I've definitely not got any guns but let's go let's go train Okay, so I started off with seated hip abduction. I personally like to lean forward. I find leaning forward, um, I'm really sitting into my glutes and I really feel like it's working my gluteus maximus muscles and it's targeting them a lot more. Um, I did four sets, four sets of 12 to 15 actually, and I pulse um, on the last um, rep. I couldn't think of the word then. Um, yeah, so I love this machine. Like I said, I like to lean in forward and really squeeze those glutes. My glutes were on fire, literally like fire. And do you know what? Someone else told me this is a bad girl machine. And then hip adduction is the good girl machine. Not gonna lie, did make me laugh a little bit. Um, but yeah, next up, I'm going into seated adduction. Abduction are important muscle group to work. 
Um, obviously, we work in the inner fires. Their main functions include providing stability um, during daily activities and supporting explosive movements. I used to hate doing this machine, to be honest with you, but it is very beneficial. Um, I'm again doing four sets, four sets of 12 to 15 reps. And on my last rep, just really squeezing and holding. And this is me having a little dance in between my sets because what else is a girl supposed to do? I used to literally despise this machine. I can't even tell you, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Oh, little slight adjustment there. <laughs> it's actually really hard to film like yourself and sort of work out if you're if your work if your posture looks right from the angle because different angles can make your posture look so wrong. Um, yeah, it's actually quite hard filming myself. I need a photographer. I need a photographer, videographer. I need a videographer. <laughs> I've realised that all I do is dance at the gym, dance and sing. Next up, we've got laying leg curls. This exercise um, targets the hamstrings and also does target the glutes and hip flexors hip flexors, flexors, <laughs> hip flexors, and calves. Again, I didn't used to like this machine either, but actually I've grown to like it. Uh, again, I'm doing four sets of 12 to 15. Um, I'm lifting fairly heavy as well. Um, not as heavy as I could be lifting, I'll be real. Um, I'm still hurting from leg day on Monday. Like, I don't even know about you guys, but literally sometimes I'm hurting for days after a workout. Days and days and days. It tends to be the day after, the day after, the day after. Not the day after, the day after. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, dancing again. Wow. Call the cops. Call the cops. I'm off my chops. <laughs> I'm off something, I don't know. And then I'm doing single um, leg curls as well, which are really, really good. Again, the same 12 to 15 reps per leg. Make sure you're training. If you, even if you start to eight and you stop at ten, then make sure you do ten reps on the other leg. We can't be training odd. You'd have one leg stronger than the other. One calf will be fatter than the other. Next up, we're going to leg extension. This exercise is great to strengthen the quads. Um, I'm doing four sets again of twelve to fifteen. And I like to really sit into this machine, to be fair. The machine's quite big, I find. And if I sit back, I feel like my legs aren't properly in the machine. So I do like to sit into this and sit forward a little bit. Christ, the facial expressions are something else, aren't they? <laughs> something quite shocking. Next up, we've got leg press. The leg press works the quadriceps and the hamstring muscles of your thighs and it works the gluteal muscles in your buttocks. It works the glutes. Again, I'm doing 12 to 15 reps. Remember slow and controlled guys, don't rush anything. Really feel and sit into that press. Next up we've got hip thrusts. And I did four sets of 12 to 15 reps. Very, very light. I am sore still from Monday, so I don't want to injure myself. And I don't want to be doing more damage than good to my muscles because recovery is important. However, I do like to train legs two to three times a week. So I had to train legs today. <laughs> Again, just thrusting forward, chin tucked. Next up. We have reverse frog pumps. These are one of my favorite glute exercises. They, they just are. They look, I know they look silly. And so many people in the gym say to me like, what are you doing? But I have never felt it in my glutes more than I have doing this exercise. And yeah, I just, I swear by it personally. Again, I'm doing four sets. I'm doing four sets of 15. Um, and what I like to do is, on my last rep, I like to hold it. Next up, we're going straight into barbell reverse lunges. Um, I am doing four sets of 10 to 12, depending on how I can do on each leg. Now, reverse lunges, in my opinion, are one of the best variations you can do for training your glutes. Um, I think they're one of the, they're just the best. 
and again really really feel it in my glutes I'm keeping it light today just because like I said my glutes are sore my glutes are sore next up we have got barbell squats barbell squats um, my method with this was keep it light really sit into my glutes and keep it slow and controlled I did four sets of 15 and not gonna lie the back is back in go on Jade go on girl <laughs> gassing myself up you gotta be your own your own biggest supporter right Next up we've got deadlifts, barbell deadlifts. I did four sets of 12. And do you know what? I actually really enjoyed doing deadlifts. I don't do them as often as I should, to be honest with you. Oh, there's Sheldon, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed doing them actually. Uh, make sure you keep your back straight and your chin tucked. Try not to arch that back. Something I really struggle with, so I just watch myself in the mirror. Next up we've got fire, cable fire hydrants. Now, I normally do the fire hydrants without the cable to be honest, but obviously it's good to add weight and feel that burn in the glutes. My gosh, literally try this and I promise you, you will be in agony for days. Good agony though, remember pain is gain. I tried to show you how I clipped in the cable onto my ankle strap and sort of put my leg through the cable um, obviously be careful, you do not want to trip over. I've done that so many times, literally made myself fall ass over. So yeah, just be careful and watch, watch your posture in the mirror if you can do so. And as you lift that leg up, really squeeze those glutes, feel that burn. Next up, we've got cable pull throughs. These are one of my favorites, to be honest. Absolutely love doing a cable pull through, um, really targeting, again, the glutes. Again, doing four sets of 12 to 15 and really squeezing those glutes when you get to the top, thrusting those hips forward. Remember, mind muscle is a thing and I like to really go low. Go low, go low. Everybody get low. What's that song? I know what boys like. I know what they want. I don't even think that's a song, to be fair. Um... <laughs> But anyway, mind muscle, thrusting those hips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have kneeling, Smith machine squats. Again, really sitting into that squat, thrusting those hips forward, slow and controlled. Four sets of 15. Last but not least, we have hyper extensions. These are actually new to me. Um, I've been doing them for a couple of weeks now, like adding them into my um, leg days, and I'm really enjoying them actually. Obviously to target the glutes rather than the lower back, make sure your feet are pointed out at a 45 degree angle. And try and arch that round, keep, oh my gosh, I can't speak, round that back. Try not to straighten your back and just rise with your glutes, pushing through your glutes and yeah, clench, clench, clench. Again, four sets of 15 on this. Let that booty burn, baby, burn. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that is today. today's. <laughs> I can't speak. That is today's workout finito. Not gonna lie to you guys, I wasn't feeling it. Was not feeling it today. But I came, I saw, I conquered, and yeah, we got it done in the end. So I hope you like my leg workout. It's not the best, to be honest with you. I actually went in with a rough idea of what I wanted to do and completely just freestyled it. So I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy my little leg day. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you're all keeping safe and well and have a lovely bank holiday weekend. I'm not doing a lot, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, but take care and see you again soon.